okay let me finish the last problem uh, basically I am not able to uh, complete that one because of the failure of the battery of the camera okay let us dis let us complete this one you see we have come up to this result that is the work done by forces mg sin theta ds and mg cos theta k mg cos theta ds now we are interested in ds sin theta and ds cos theta we were looking what the exactly ds cos theta mean and the what the exactly ds sin theta mean so for that we have uh, taken the help of next sheet and uh, next sheet we have shown some diagram here so if you see this diagram so let me this one go out so if you see we have said dx can be written as summation of dx i plus d by j and ds is nothing but ds cos theta and dy is nothing but dy sin theta so now i can say dx is nothing but ds cos theta and dy is nothing but ds sin theta are you getting or not now if you see the previous expression what we have we have we have to find out work done by external force this is equals to mz integral ds sin theta plus kmz integral ds cos theta ds sin theta is nothing but dx no d by ds sin theta is nothing but dy so here we have ds sin theta is dy so this is mz integral dy and ds cos theta is what ds cos theta is nothing but dx so this is kmz integral dx now you see what is the integration of dx what is the integration of dy so if you see the previous diagram see here so this is the summation of dx that is l summation of dy is what h so now i can replace it here so if i replace this one so let us write summation of dy is h so this is mz h plus k mz dx is l so if i take mz common so it will be h plus k l so this is the work done by the external force in this problem the important point is we can always write ds as equals to sum of dx i plus d by z this thing we have to uh, remember many time we can use so if i have a three dimensional vector i can write ds is equals to what you can write you remember dx i plus d by z plus dz k these are the unit vector sometime you write dr same thing s in place of s we write radius vector so this is dx i plus d by z plus dz k so these are the things we can always write and now we have used one thing that is the total work done total change in kinetic energy equals to zero in this case in this problem we have used total change in kinetic energy because the object is moving slowly in heat also you will see some problem in which they will say the motion is quasi static the piston is moved very slowly do you remember the some idea of reversibility reversibility is something like this system and surrounding always remains in equilibrium at each point of time the same thing same idea in this case also object is moved very slowly this means at all point of time total force acting on the object is zero now this process is a slow process quasi static process or you can say reversible process if the process is reversible the total net force is zero this means acceleration is zero if acceleration is zero i can say initial velocity is zero if this is given in the problem then final velocity will be also be zero velocity will not change velocity will remain same if the acceleration is zero because we know v is equals to u plus at if acceleration is zero v and u will remain same that is the case so we have used now initial velocity is zero final velocity is zero this helps me to uh, use the change in kinetic energy equals to work done 
work done now by the all the forces now to find out the work done what we have done is we have resolved all the forces along the tangential direction and along the normal direction since normal direction makes a 90 degree angle with the tangential displacement ds is the tangential displacement so there is no point of considering the work done by the normal forces we have to consider only the work done by the tangential forces and tangential forces are f mg sin theta mg cos theta f acting in the direction of displacement so work done by f ds will be positive mg sin theta will be acting opposite to the direction of displacement so work done by while well, this is negative kmg cos theta the friction force also acting negative direction opposite to the displacement this force will again negative are you getting on so this will be negative again this will be negative again and now this is change in kinetic energy equals to zero so we can find the total work done okay so this is about the change in kinetic energy equals to work done we have some problems in this video uh, we have interrupted this one that i am sorry for that we will discuss the next one